What do you reckon? Any chance? Not a lot. No, but they're my lucky numbers, one and two. Can't you count after those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just get stuck after four. <laughs> Paying tax? Oh, yeah, it's the only way to do it, isn't it? So they say. This guy's had a result of the first two winners, and he's on a 12 to 1 for the treble. Mm. Get them and spread it around, would you? Yeah. I'm a student of all, mate. Not difficult, darling. Numbers, mathematics. Didn't you get an O level? Woodwork. Don't polish the woodwork here. The punters can't give me their bets. Hello, oh, Jim. Sorry, mate. Here's that. Any luck? <laughs> oh, not a thing. Same as him. You're new here, aren't you? You're quick. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not quick, but I am a trier. You know what, don't you? I mean, you'd look better behind a roulette table down Curzon Street. I thought you were going to say Tesco's. You work there. I've got an idea. I could tell you my complete life story when you finish work. How's that? No, thanks. Not even a runner? Not even under starter's orders. I was Charlie's wife. You? Old Charlie's wife? Cool. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's all right. It was five months now. No, it don't matter. I was well out of order. I'm sorry. Why? I mean, people are a bit surprised. He was a bit older than me, but... He was lovely, my Charlie. Charlie? Well, uh, smashing bloke, yeah. Thanks. So, you're going to manage your shop by yourself, are you? Yeah. Well, why not? I've been around bookmakers all my life. Charlie, my dad was a bookie, and his brother. I didn't have nursery rhymes when I was a kid. I was just brought up on the runners and riders for Kempton Park in the time form Black Book. I've been looking for someone like you since I was 14 years old. You work for Arthur Daly, don't you? No, no. Not for. With. Well, you still have a drink after you finish, can't we? OK, just for a drink. That's right, yeah. Where? The, the booze are on the corner? Yeah, all right. Right, about six, eh? Uh, seven. And don't forget my winnings. Terry! Where are you? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, well, I'm over there in a boozer. Been there for a quarter of an hour. Ah, oh, wouldn't anybody buy you a drink? <laughs> there is always a flock of respected people ready to buy me a drink. And you, frittering your hard-earned away on the horses? No. Dogs. Acne. Cool, dear. You've got no class, have you? Royal Ascot, Epsom, Glorious Goodwood. What do you do? Acne. Barry's been murdered. Do what? Barry's been murdered. No, I don't believe it. Who? How? I mean, shot? Strangled? No, 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 not murdered, murdered. Murdered by the horses, murdered. Oh, that. Take heed, my old son. If a bookie like Barry can't win, who can? Yeah, but he does lay odds for some very nasty people, doesn't he? No, 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 not nasty. Just people who can't get credit with kosher turf accountants. And people who do not like paying tax. Who does, Arthur? Anyway, he needs you. He's going to pay out today. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, company. Go with him to the bank. Do I get paid for my company? Yeah, OK, yeah. Mm. Well, go on, then. What, you mean this minute? Yeah. All right. You coming? No, 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 no. I've seen a bank. Anyway, I've got to see a fellow about some fireplaces. Some what? Fireplaces. Victoriana. They're knocking down some old houses, and I can sell the fireplaces to decent middle class people who want to gentrify their houses after they've evicted the sitting tenants who put in these ice beam gas fires. Say that again. Fashion. Fashion full circle. Don't you ever read the houses and gardens? You want them oh. all? Oh, oh, and, uh, whatever you got. I mean, it's just rubbish, isn't it? 
with no uh, no intrinsic value. Well, in that case, what do you want them? I'm a collector, Pat. The name's Dermot. All right, Pat, I'll call you Dermot. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a score apiece, but intact. I don't want no damaged goods. I seen an article the other day. Quite fashionable, these things. House and garden. <laughs> Never. <laughs> what these? Look, would you want one of them in your house? Of course not. I've got underfloor heat. Well, there you are, then. Hey, do you know the Romans invented that? Yeah. Funnily enough, I got the stuff from two Greeks. Greeks, Romans, all part of our Western culture, Pat. Isn't it, Dermot? Let's get a move on, eh? Why? What's occurred? In about two minutes, I'm liable to be nicked. What have you done? Now, there's a young and lighter in sus. I'm doing outside a bank, eh? When are you going to make the payout? Later. But don't leave me alone. I get nervous when I'm carrying cash. How much have you got in here then? 23k. Whew. Heavy load, isn't it? Bad week. Week? That was a day. It's a high risk business, mine. So it seems, yeah. Well, most of the time it's a good living. Well, I'm not like Labrooks. You know, the margin's dicey. And the people I associate with, they don't like to hang about for their winnings. Oh, well, the only thing is, I've got to meet tonight. Well, that's nice. You'll be through by nine. Oh, uh, well, could we just pop in and see a, a friend? Uh, it'll only take two minutes. You make it sharpish. All right. I'll tell you what, swing a left here. Ah, um, you know we're going to have a meet tonight? Yeah. Well, something's come up. Oh, yeah? No, no, I'll be finished by nine. Yeah. yeah so, so I thought maybe we could go out and have a little meal. Listen, what happened to my bet? You lost. Terrific, isn't it? Do you know Mr. Wong's? Yeah. So, maybe we could meet there, have a bit of sweet and sour and uh, various, and uh, you don't look too thrilled. Well, we were just going to have a drink. Yeah, all right, so now we're going to have a meal instead. Listen, Terry, you're not even under starter's orders. <laughs> Leave it out. All I'm saying is we're going to have a meal. OK. Great. I'm well known at Mr Wong's, you know. Oh, yes. See you. Just the thing for now, Dave. Now the nights are drawing in. A really cheery fire. I don't know, Arthur. No, no, you just listen to me, Dave. I mean, take a place like this. I mean, look at the decoration. Oh, she chose the wallpaper. She's certainly got an eye for interior decoration, Dave. But as I was saying, you imagine a roaring fire, warm hearth, Lovely mantelpiece. It's more sort of welcoming, isn't it? Yeah, I, I like the nice fire myself, I think. I mean, you imagine, for example, Dave, a lovely fireplace just there. No, no, not there, Arthur. That's only our board wall, that is. How about there? That's party wall. Straight through in a butcher's defrees. They can do anything these days, Dave, all them architects. I mean, we're not talking about rebuilding Rome, are we? We're talking about a simple chimney. Now, I happen to know the district surveyor. Personal friend, as a matter of fact. Uh, members only, old pal. Just a visitor, mister. Oh, hello, Pat. How's it going, Dermot? What'll it be? Half a Guinness. Just a dry martini with a dash of lemonade and lots of voice, please. About them fireplaces. Chip? 
give you any cut? Later. I'll get it back. Sound a bit confident? Because he's a mug punter. You a betting man? Well, I like a punt, yeah, nothing big done. And do you win? I'm about even, I think. That's what they all say, Terry. Occasionally they get lucky and suddenly they think they're winners. I used to punt, you can't beat the book. Clients, that's a laugh. I call them mugs. I despise them. No, really. Do something else then. What? Insurance? Stockbroker? Odds on a man's life? A bottle of whiskey a day? 50 cigarettes a day, he'll die before he's 60. <laughs> well, I'd like to get some of them odds. It's all in a book. That's all right, then. Looks like no one's following us. Should anybody be following us? Nice, isn't it? Yeah, they like this. Places like this. No prying eyes and all that. <laughs> Sometimes I forget the combination. That's him, the big saloon. Shall be a minute. 16k, eh? You want me to come with you? No, no. No problem. Hi. There you go, Ray. Hey, you aren't Ray. Just a minute. Terry! Terry! What are you talking about, robbed? He nicked my dough. Ray, just help us. Get him in the car, please. Your dough? That's my dough. Telephone call to Dr. Anderson. Will Dr. Anderson please take you I think you should stay here for the night. No chance. I have three days off work. What work? I beg your pardon? Nothing, it don't matter. Well, just take it easy. Another drink, Mrs. Warner? I don't think so. If you meet Mr. McCann, just tell him he's lost another bet. Oi, what you doing still in bed and on your own? What you do with a key to my flat? Well, let myself in. No, 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 don't go back to the kit. Come on, I need help. Mm. I've got some fireplaces I want shifted over to the lock-up. Uh, I do not feel like 
I'm in fireplaces around. Oh, bad back. Yeah, so have I. So have you. <laughs> Eight stitches, that is. Doctor said I've got to rest for a few days. Doctors, what do they know? What'd you do, slip? <laughs> yeah, I slipped while some other geezer was trying to decapitate me. No, bit of bother. No, well spotted. Well, I mean, in your trade, that's industrial injury, isn't it? It's one of the hazards of your profession. Thanks very much for all your sympathy. No, that's all right, sir. Actually, listen, this, uh, this mate of yours yeah. buried a book. What do you reckon on him, mate? Whoa, 18 carat. No, 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 22 carat, one of our own. That's what I mean. What do you mean, that's what you mean? Come on, get up, make us a cup of tea. Hey, I'm an invalid. Now, surely you can pour a drop of hot water on a tea bag, can't you? No. Terry, you know what your trouble is? Self, self, self. Dolly. Dolly. Look, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but I couldn't find her or anything. I was at the hospital. Measles? <laughs> no, not me. Look, I'm... I'm sorry, really. Why'd you go to the hospital? No, oh, it doesn't matter. It's nothing serious or anything else. Look, have you got an hour or so at lunchtime? Where? Anywhere. Uh, the boozer? Got to be back for the first race at Catrick. 12.30 then? Yeah, smashing, yeah. Um, I'm sorry. No, just don't blow me out again, OK? thing last night. You OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Fine. Terry? Well, I was just saying to oh, Terry. Oh, ask him I'll ask. Come in. Yeah, I think it's the back on me. No, I was really sorry You about... set it up. Well, me? Yes, you. Set it up. You got it all wrong. Look, I saw you in the hospital, didn't I? You were having kittens. No, look, look, look. Terry gets a bit impetuous. I've been telling him, in my book, you are 18 carat. I apologise. I'm sorry. No, he's sorry. He apologises. What are you saying, eh? Are you owning up? Is that what you're saying? It all went wrong, Tell. Don't it! Don't make a bleed neck! Reasonable! The man might have a decent excuse! Right, I better bleed neck! Terry! I'm going to knock the picture off the wall. Maybe I'll hang him up there instead. Look, I can explain. I can explain. Can we go in the drawing room? <laughs> it was going to be simple. You were just there as a witness. So when Ray Newell drove in the car park, you substantiate my story. A guy robbed me, but you were too quick, Terry. I swear, my life, the guy was going to drive off, that's all. But when you grabbed the car door, the man panicked. He didn't know what to do. You were too brave, Terry. Fool to himself. There you are, Terry. You are too brave. Yeah. Eight stitches too brave. All right, then, what was the mood, eh? Waste paper in the envelope. Did you seriously think that Ray Newell would swallow that? What else? Hobskin. I beg your pardon? Hobskin. No, 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 I heard what you said. Just took a few seconds to sink in. Oi, you haven't weighed in for Terry's performance last night yet. Oh, God. No, 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 you'll be all right. I'd better. Chuck. What am I going to do? We have an early holiday. Well, what's he going to do? That Ray? He isn't going to kill me, is he? You can ask him yourself in a minute. I am not talking about your problems. What I am worrying about 
is my dough. Well, you see, Ray, well, you were there. Mm, I don't care. You lost your money, so, as I've told you, that's your fault. We don't want to have a fight about it, do we? I mean, I've given up fighting. Cyril? He doesn't fight. Ram? He doesn't want to fight in case he spoils his suit. Mind you, he's pretty handy with that kickbox and all the martial arts. Arthur, you don't want to fight, do you? No, 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 no. As a matter of fact, we were just on our way out. How's your back? Fine. Nasty wound. Oh, uh, Where's my money? I need time. Oh, you are terrific. I mean, just look at him. I do bets with you every week. It must have been thousands over the months, and I have a little tickle, and you don't pay. Would you believe that? Well, as I was about to say, it's really not nothing to do with us, is it? I want you to stay to see fair play. Oh, fine, fine, but um, I've got some business. Haven't I? Your car keys. Why? Why? Because you owe me 16 grand. Keys. Now, let's see. BMW, quite nice condition. Um, shall we say... 3,500, fair? Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, yes, it is very fair, Barry. It is not a seller's market, Barry. Logbook. Oh, Ram, go and find his cash. Right. What do you reckon, Cyril? Mm. Well, the sofa table's nice. Mm. Regency. Mahogany, say 400. 400? People hear Regents and they think they've got a gold mine. Put it in an auction. You won't get any more. 400. Dining chairs, Victorian, set of six. Nice condition, two fifty, mm, two fifty, two eight five. Two eight five. Pretty. Carriage clock. Movement by Bolvilla of Paris, four hundred and fifty. Cyril, that chair. Uh, sorry, sir. Very good repro. That's a George II library chair. You've been done, Barry. But just look at it. It's too perfect. Look at this carving. These edges, they should be beveled by time. We're talking about a piece that should have been made, ooh, 250 years ago. I reckon this was done just before the First World War. Handsome, I'll agree, but not George II, sorry. 200. He's mustered this bloke, hasn't he? He's better than a fellow on a telly. Where'd you get the looking glass, Barry? Oh, I don't know, a junk shop. Really? We're talking about 600 pounds. Quite early, original condition, very fine. Oh, this is your lucky day, Barry. Late 19th century, 250. Four landscape watercolours. Mm, simple stuff, 50 a piece. Oh, I'll have one of them if, uh, if it's OK. Why not? Cash. Oh, yeah, of course. Her indoors likes a nice watercolour. Oi. 
Whose side are you on? You don't mind, do you, Barry? See what I've got. Bird's eye dough. Well, what's this worth uh, after it thaws out? 2K. Hey? 2,000. Oh. Have you got any more in your airing cupboard? Ram, uh, start to get this stuff outside, will you? Me? You know I don't do manual work, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Look at those other fellows up here. Tell them to bring my car. Now, uh, I'd just like you to check these figures with me, Barry. That's uh, £9,876, OK? Yeah, anything you say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, 16000 minus... Uh, well, we're talking about uh, £6,100. Uh, we won't bother about the £24. When? I don't know. Really? Let's say three days? I haven't got it. I do like this guy. I, am I being reasonable, Arthur? It's a debt of honour, Barry. I don't like violence. I can't sue you. I can't get the ombudsman to write to you. I need time. No. If you're not going to give it to me, I am going to hurt you. What do you mean? I've told you. I'm not a violent man. But I've got to have some satisfaction. Well, you understand that, eh? Now, if you get away with this, what will the others do? They'll all start to knock me. And if I let you get away with this, you're turning me into a right wally. Tell him, Arthur. Um, well, uh, Barry, uh, um, what I think Ray is saying is you've uh, got to be fair. Mm. Now, what is an arm or a leg? Six thousand pounds. Personally, I'd rather have the money. But if I don't get the money, it's got to be an arm or a leg. Tea, would you? No. Anyway, I've taken all the cups, haven't I? In and out, no mess. Very efficient. They're better than Pickford's. Does he mean it? Yeah, I think he does. Well, of course he means it. You can't blame the man, can you? I mean, can you fault his logic? No. He's been paying you all this time, and now you can't pay him. So he's got the ump. Seems reasonable to me. He isn't giving me a chance. A few weeks, I'll be OK. Yeah, I don't suppose you could... No, 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 no. Oh, don't never a debtor, nor a lender be, nor Just a... Just a long shot, Arthur. No, 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 against my principles, Barry. No, the best thing for you now is have a very early holiday. Terence, time for my lunch. What time is it? Nearly one. One? No, oh, Terry! Very close. Right little bird bandit, Terry. I think he's in love. <laughs> Dolly, I'm sorry. I mean, there was no way I could do anything, honestly. Piss off. Now, what we are talking about, Terry, is a moral dilemma. I thought we were talking about breaking a leg. Precisely. Six grand or a leg. I mean, is that a fine distinction? 
course they're bleeding east. Listen, look, the fella not grey. If people like us can't trust ourselves, who can we trust? Wish the Inland Revenue would give us an option. Six grand or a leg. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? You wouldn't have any legs, would you? Or arms. Look, listen, my son, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Mm. In a couple of minutes, I'm going to stitch up a simple Irishman. What's wrong with that, eh? Look at that. Very nice, Pat. Any more, Dermot? A few. But here is something else. Oh, yeah. How about that? Another fireplace. Do you know what that is? A fireplace. An original Adam fireplace. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, that's obvious, isn't it? Do you remember the big Georgian house at the end of the street? No. Well, I got that there. And I know an Adam fireplace has got to be valuable. Nah, nah, not, not particularly. Well, it's a nice clean job. Oh, I've cleaned it up all right. Uh, what do you reckon? Me? Yeah. One of our staff. Bit of a connoisseur. Well, it's, uh, it's old Adam, obviously. The real McCoy? Yeah, that's him. Adam McCoy, he's the one. Now, look, Pat, I know you're just a simple artisan, Dermot, but uh, what are you expecting for this item? 400. Four what? <laughs> You've got an Irish bananas? 400. Uh, look, don't let's quibble, Pat. I'm a very fair man, Dermot. I'll give you a ton. No, sir. Well, Adam, what's his name, is well known in the fireplace business. Highly respected. Hmm? You're a hard man, but I up my figure. No. No, no, I can't do it. Come on. I'll tell you what. 300 we touch hands now. Done. Thing of beauty, Terry. I knew it immediately. You get off! It's Robert Adam. The governor, they reckon. Oh, he'd be well pleased to know the punters still get so much pleasure after all these years. Oh, dear, I bet the Irishman would be well pleased to know. Five grand? More, possibly. I knew it, Terry. I could, I could feel it in me water. That is why I am an entrepreneur, not your simple general trader. Oh, yeah, I know that. I, mean, I, I can see it now. Arthur Daly takes over Arrods. Cheap jibe, Terence, cheap jibe, but it could happen. And you'll be very happy to be part of the firm. Meanwhile, round to Desi's garage, get a van for tonight, pick up the rest of them fireplaces. Oh, uh, no, no, not tonight, no. Why not? Uh, Dolly. I thought you'd had a ruck. Yeah, but you know me. Smooth talker. See, that's the difference. You got the dough, I've got the charm. Keep your own fires burning. Hey? Yeah. Hello, Peter. How's your luck? No, of course I'm still in business. What do you mean? Where did you get that idea? No. Yeah? Kempton. Three o'clock. Bandy lad. What's that? B-A-N-D-Y. Bandy lad. Monkey to win. You're on, son. Uh, Peter, I hate to ask you this, but I need the cash. Cheers. See, I told you I was well known here. Why? Oh, uh, well, I did a favour for him. There's a bit of bothering you about 14 months ago. Like what? Well, it was nothing serious. It was just, uh, well, a couple of young tearaways terrifying the punters. And you sorted it out? Well, basically, yeah. yeah. Have you ever thought about getting a job? Eh? Yeah, job. You know, employment, career, pay packet at the end of the week, promotion. Pension? You think that's funny, don't you? No, no, I just, just think you're having a pop at me, that's all. No, I'm not. Why does everybody want me to get a nice job? Because you haven't got a job. Arthur Daly, that's not a job. He's just a small-time gangster. Gangster, Arthur. 
Do you like him? Of course I like him. He's a mate. All right, all right, I'll own up. He's a bit dishonest, right? Bit of a liar. Well, no. Not really a liar, but... Well, a bit of a rogue, that's all. That's only the nice side of his character. <laughs> I give up. Voila, as they say. Nice, eh? Mm. Oh, yes, nice clean job. That's exactly what I said. Mm. Robert Adam, as you well know. <sighs> but there's Adam and... Uh... Adam? No, oh, indeed there is. Yes. Just as I thought. But right. That's an Adam. Knew it straight away. But not from his factory. That's the rub, Arthur. Factory? I got this from a Georgian house. They were all at it in those days. Just as nice. But not from the master's workshop. If it were a nice one from him, we'd be talking about five grand. Plus... Oh, well, that's what I thought. I placed it at the end of the 18th century, circa 1790. Oh, that is old, you know. It is, Arthur. But it's only 600 pounds. Are you sure? Sorry. Well, it's better than my place, yeah. One of these days you might see inside. I thought maybe I, I could come in for a coffee. I don't think you're really the coffee type, are you? OK. Well, thanks for a lovely evening. I bet. <laughs> no, really, I mean it. Thanks. Mm. Mm, bloody hell. What's the matter? No, I'm sorry. It's... Shoulder of uh, stitches. Sorry. I thought it was passion. Well, it could be. <laughs> don't let it put you off. Hey, you don't work in the day, do you? N no, not very often, no. Would you like to come racing tomorrow? I've got some people I've got to meet at Kempton Park. Do you fancy it? Yeah, yeah please. Smash it. Right. Can you pick me up here at 12, yeah? Of course I can. How come I'm not invited? I don't know. Just not, that's all. Why am I a leper? I don't know. Well, only in the social sense. Jacket? Well, it's lovely, isn't it? Here I am lending you my best bins. You're going off to have a day out and I'm going to be humping fireplaces. Yeah, it's tough being a watchman call, isn't it? An entrepreneur, isn't it? Still, it's only Kempton Park, isn't it? It's not as if we're talking about Royal Ascot. No. Still, it's better than humping fireplaces, isn't it? Lock up on your way out. Oh, come on, Dolly. I've just had a rough spell. The bookies I worked for, they was getting greedy. They wanted to cut my commission. And the big firms won't entertain me. That's why I'm asking you to take a small bet. What's small? A monkey. And it isn't even a favourite. The punter will take starting price, so you can shave a few points by laying out on the opening prices. Simple, eh? Yes, it is simple. Cash. Bandy lad. Kempton, three o'clock. Well, it so happens I'm going to Kempton, so I'll lay it on the course. Well, it's all the better. I'm really grateful to you, Dolly. See, I'm doing this for a pal of mine. He's in real trouble. Like what? He might lose his legs. Barry, nice people you mix with. Friends, Dolly. You can't disown friends. He's one of our own, old Terry. Terry who? Oh, you wouldn't know him. It's a guy called Terry McCann. You say he's in trouble? Well, I didn't know you knew tell. What's wrong with him? Oh, it's, it's nothing. Look, I shouldn't have told you. What's happened? Oh, I'm sorry, but since you know him, you know what he's like. No. No, I don't. He's always getting into scrapes. I blame that Arthur, but he will not listen. Just between you and me, there's a right tasty mob after him. He owes him 6K. They're after crippling him.
that one of your horses? Oh, no, Terry, it's Nijinsky. Won the Derby, the 2,000 guineas, King George VI, Queen Elizabeth Diamond Stakes and St Ledger as well. Some fool, man. It's called breeding, Terry. Listen, you don't seem too happy about a little excursion. Don't be silly. Have I got the wrong suit on or something? It's smashing. Come on, let's go. Uh, 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 what was Barry Duncan doing here? Oh, it's just a business call. That's not a crime, is it? You never know with Barry, do you? Yeah. Good friends, are you? Friends? Barry and me? Oh, yeah. Terrific. Put me in hospital. You know, the shoulder. Then he stopped me from seeing you the other night. Apart from that, we're terrific pals, certainly. I know all about it, Terry. What? You know. No, what are you talking about? Don't kid me. What are you going on about? You don't care, do you? Look at you. Relax, cool as a cucumber, sitting down. No, no, I'm standing up. Oh, well, you know what I mean. Did he ask you for money? It doesn't matter. How much? Just get in the car. No, how much? Enough to buy you a wheelchair. Oh, Dolly, you're really great. You stupid cow. Uh, it is an authentic Adam piece. From the master's own workshop, Adam. Uh, we can vouch for that. And you're asking 5,500. Very rare piece. Yes, I'm afraid so. 5,500. Oh. Excuse me, just a moment. Have you seen Barry? Mm, Fifteen minutes ago, he's come up with trumps. Surprise, eh? You never know in this world. Yeah, but he nicked it, didn't he? Mm. From a friend of mine. It's in the bank, son. But he thieved it. Hmm. A lot of people do. He owed me. Now he's owing a friend of yours. Now, I don't care where he got it. Finito. He's a wrong one. Well, look, we all duck and dive. But that Barry, he's disrupting the whole alternative economy. Cheat a bit, rob a bit, that's business. But gambling debts, that's indecent. Barry! Get up! Get up! Why? You'll only hit me again. Ray was going to break my legs. Are you? I've owed tougher people than you, Terry. You don't even care, do you? Why didn't you rob a bank or something? You get nicked for that. But why Dolly? Why her? I like long shots. She'll get it back. Eventually. When eventually? I don't know. The thing is, I'm a very dishonest man. Yeah, but of all people, Barry! He can be very persuasive. Of course he can be very persuasive. That's his game, isn't it? I was trying to help you. I don't need any help. Anyway, the one who needed help was Barry, wasn't it? I didn't know that. No, all right, I know. Well, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm very grateful, honestly, right? I'm just not used to people doing favours for me. No, I won't do one again, I can promise you. No, I didn't mean that. No, I really liked it. Not six grand, you understand, but... It's really nice to know you've got someone in your corner for once. And I'll tell you, I'll get it all back. Forget it. You can buy me a drink. Sometime. Tonight? No. Some other night. I was hoping we'd have quite a few nights. No. You're troubled, Terry, aren't you? Trouble, mate? No, are you kidding? No. It's true, Terry. You're a nice bloke, but you're trouble and you always will be. 
can't believe it. How you don't even know me. I know I've only met you three days, but you've stood me up three times. You've been to the hospital once, you've had two fights. If you're not hitting people, you're chasing them. You mix with rotten people. And you're bad news, Terry. Oh. I'm terrific. Cheers. You know it, don't you? No, well, it's been a bad week. <sighs> Spare me the good weeks. Listen, I'm supposed to be a very shrewd, capable businesswoman. I just have to be more careful next time. You and me are going to be good friends. And that's it. Good friends. Okay. I'll st still put your bets on. One and two, happily reversed. And I'll still pay the tax. And if I see Barry... Oh, don't worry about him. I'll get it. a bit downcast. Don't you start. Terry, you are beginning to sound more and more like her indoors every day. So, you had a blank. Just shut up, will you? Yeah, that, that's her. To a tea. How'd you get on with the old Adam, then? Oh, reasonable. But a bit more than I gave the Irishman. Well, he wouldn't understand, would he? Rare piece, that? No, 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 not that rare. I had it valued, authenticated, the whole thing. Not five grand? Eh? Five, five grand? What, what are you talking about? Well, I was just browsing in the antique shop, you know, Ray and Cyril were there, and, um... <laughs> five grand? <laughs> You're winding me up, aren't you? <laughs> Do you want a bet?